hello everybody and welcome back to another Minecraft video. This is Mythical Sausage. How is everybody doing? Oh man, we're back again doing another tutorial and today we're going to be doing my single player Let's Plays horse stable that you see right behind me. Now this doesn't have to be a horse stable. You can actually convert this into a barn. You can even make this into a house if you want to, but we're going to go ahead and do it right now. So let's go into our flat world and we'll get this started right now. As far as the block palette, all you're going to be needing is this. We got some oak logs, some stripped oak log, some oak planks, some spruce, a little bit of cobble, some stone brick, and some stone. And here are the dimensions you're going to be needing. So this is going to be a 19 long by 15 wide right here. And we're separating most of these by a three in between each log, except for this main area right here. It's going to be a five separation. And then in this front, and then this back area right here is a five separation, but everything else is just a uh, three uh, gapper in between each log. So right now, let's start this up. We're gonna go with our oak log and we're gonna be placing them on the inside part right here. For right now, we're gonna take this in steps. Let's take this in layers. Let's go with our first layer right here by starting on this log and just take this up by one, two, three, and four for right now. I'm gonna give it a space of three. Go up right on this log, one, two, three, four. Another space of three, one, two, three, and four. Another space of three, one, two, three, and four. Give it a space of five right here. And then our next log uh, up by four as well. Now, let's come back to this end. We're gonna be raising these middle gaps here by two. The first layer is gonna be either a mix of cobble and stones, just like this. And then on the top, it's also gonna be a mix of stone uh, and cobble stairs, upside down, just like so. And then we're just gonna repeat this down here. So let's give it a little bit of texturing, just like so. And then upside down stairs with either cobble or stone, or you can use one complete or the other. It's all up to you guys how you wanna set this up. So it's gonna look like this. Then next thing we're gonna do, we're gonna lift these logs in front of the logs, just by one, down like so even this one, and then we're gonna put some spruce stairs facing downwards like this. Next up, we're gonna put some upside down stairs on all of these logs you see right here, going all the way around. And then we're gonna put a spruce trap door in the center and spruce trap doors on the sides, just like so. Now, once we have that set up, we're gonna bring our log up one more time on each one of these here. We can even bring this one up as well. And then we're gonna be cross beaming right over these upside down stairs and trap doors that we just placed, just like this. Now for this section here, let's take it up one more on each side. And we're gonna be cross beaming this main areas or front entrance up by one, just like so. Now under here, we're gonna go with two full blocks of our spruce, two more full blocks of spruce, we're gonna put a slab of spruce in the middle, and then over here we're gonna put an upside down stair and an upside down stair, just like so. Now, let's turn this corner and continue here. So, right here we're gonna give it a space of three from this log. Here we're gonna go up by one, two, three, four, and five. Give it a space of five here, one, two, three, four, and five, and another three spacer, one, two, three, four, and five. Then down here we're gonna give it our mix as well of our stones covering up this bit and cobbles coming back the other way upside down stairs of our mixture right here. Let's bring these down just like so. And it could be any combination or it could be one or the other. So just like this. Now, once we have that, uh, the three uh, block gap spaces are gonna be going up by one, two, and right here on the third one, we're cross beaming that. So we can mirror what's happening over here. And then we're gonna do it as well right here. So we're just gonna have a two block gap space. Now these that are bigger, the five wides, we're gonna take it up one more on each side and we're gonna cross beam right here on the top. Then same thing we did on the front, we're gonna go with some upside down stairs and trap doors in between, just like so. Here, we're gonna do the same thing. So upside down stairs, trap doors and trap doors surrounding it. And then here we're gonna do what we did in that bigger one. So we're going with two fulls, two full blocks, one slab, upside down stairs on each corner. And then here we're gonna put some trap doors. So a trap door here and one on this side. So super simple, we're gonna pretty much repeat what we did right there in the front. We're gonna do it right here on this side. Now this side is completely matching the other side. So one more thing we gotta do is this. We're gonna put our logs facing downwards like so, going all the way around. And then at the end, we're gonna put our uh, spruce stairs 
right on top of the logs going all the way around like this. Now this side, we're pretty much just gonna mirror exactly what we did on the other side. All right, there you go. Everything is mirrored, looking awesome. So we have our first layer done. Now, really quick, let's go on the inside and we're gonna lift these up. So these are gonna be each section for the horses. You can convert this though. It doesn't have to be a horse table. Could be a barn too, if you guys wanna set this up like that. But really quick, right here from this log, we're gonna give it a space of one, two, three. Right here on the fourth one, we're gonna take this uh, log up. So from here is one, two, three, four, and five. And we're cross beaming right here at the same level we have here. So give it a space of three, take this up, cross beam, cross beam here. Again, space of three, take this up, crossing here, and we're gonna cross right here. Super simple, we're just gonna repeat that over here on this side. All right, now next thing we're gonna do is let's give it a little bit of a border right here so none of the horses get out. So either a mix of cobble or stones, we can lay this down right down this way. So let's go ahead and put it right down this section here. A little bit of a mix going down like so. And then on the top, we're gonna either put a slab of the same brick or we could do a cobble slab. So a mixture of this going all the way down, just like so, and it should keep all of the horses in place. Then next up, we're gonna give it uh, the same stairs. We're gonna go upside downs on all of these, going around like so. And then we're gonna put trap doors in between, just like this. And now we're gonna do this to this whole section. So let's go ahead and repeat this all the way around. All right, there you go. Everything is mirrored, looking awesome from both sides. Next thing, we could just go ahead and put some fence gates there, but we'll leave that for last. Now, let's jump back out here to this side and let's work on the main structure, which is this section over here. So from right now, we have a one, two, three, four, five, six, as of right here. So let's go right here on this corner, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11. Let's go to this one as well, take it up by 11. Let's take this one up by 11 as well. So this is all gonna be mir uh, mirrored right to there. This one up by 11. This one also up. Let's take this one up by 11. This one here. And this one right here on this side. Also, we're gonna come down this line and we're gonna uh, pretty much match this middle section. So this is gonna go also up to the 11th. This one here. We're gonna do this corner one, this corner one as well. We're gonna take this and this one up. Now, these little bits here, this corner and this corner, we're not gonna go ahead and take those up. We're gonna have a small roof just going from this section up against that wall. But back here, this little T-shape is all up by 11 total blocks. Now, next thing we're gonna do is starting right here on this side, let's do a couple little pop-out logs. We're gonna pop a log right here on this side, right matching where that uh, full block of spruce is. I'm gonna put another one right here. All right, now right here, we're gonna go with a double slab, another double slab here, and a double slab on this section, and come right back down, just like so. Give you a little bit of an overhang bit. Now we're gonna continue on this side with a log, so we're gonna pop one out on this end, pretty much mirroring where this log is. One over here on this section, matching this side like so. I'm gonna put some upside down stairs back underneath these logs, just like that. Then I'm gonna go with a couple little bits of detail here. Let's go with a double a slab or full block here, double and a double right there. So we have this cool little archway. Let's go ahead and repeat this on this side. So a double, double going up and one coming back down. And then we're gonna do one in here as well. So let's go with a full block here, double, a double one here, and then bring it back down just like that. Now let's mirror this side. We're gonna put a pop-out log here, one here, full blocks on each side. Let's drop one on top. Then we're gonna go with a double slab and a double slab, upside down stairs on each corner, just like so. Now for this section, let me show you what to do. I'm gonna give it almost like a little bit of a Tudor style. So here we're gonna lift up this log going all the way to the top, matching this one, and we're gonna cross beam this, do another one over here, all the way to the top, cross beam this, and over here we can give it a mixture of oak uh, planks and a little bit of our strip, just to change it up, make it look a little more rustic. Let's repeat that over here, going all the way up. And then again, put a little bit of our strips, just like so. Now for this little middle section, it's gonna be a little different. We're gonna give it some spruce planks going all the way to the top from, uh, from here, all the way up to the log. Do another one on this side. You can even give a little bit of a mixture of our stripped as well, if you want, just to change it up. And that looks pretty cool, just like that. Then we're gonna do this. Let's put an upside on stair right here on this section, giving a three block gap space from here. Another one on this side, trap door in the center. Then we're gonna put trap doors going down on this side and also going down on this side. Up here, we're just gonna just connect those just like that, it looks good. And then we're gonna add one more to the top, just like this. I'm gonna put a pop-up log on this section, one on this section, 
We're gonna go with our four blocks here, one on top, and then we're gonna go ahead and do that double slab on this side and double slab here. Also putting upside down stairs on each side right there looks pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and jump back on this end and we're gonna do exactly what we did here. Let's do it over on this end. So we're gonna take this log all the way up, cross beam on the top, also do it over here. So take it all the way up, cross beam on the top, and match exactly what we did here with a mix of planks and strip. There we go, so it should look like this from both sides. Now, let's do this section. Now, this was gonna pretty much mirror what we did over here. So let's take up some planks. So one, two, three, four, and five, up by five here. Give it that little mixture of some stripped spruce, just like so, maybe one more down here. Looks good. Then we're gonna do the same thing. So let's go up one, two, three, on the fourth one, upside down stairs on each side, trap door in the center, and trap doors on the corner bits, just like this. Then we're gonna also fill in this little part right here, maybe give me a little bit of stripped. Then we're gonna put a pop-out log on each side, four blocks on each. Let's put a full block here, drop it outside, slabs going up, so a double, and a double right here. Upside down stairs in the parts right here underneath those logs. Now let's mirror this on the other side. All right, next up, let's work on the roof. So I'm gonna grab spruce stairs and we're gonna take them all the way down in this level. We're gonna overhang this bit, Let's go with an upside down stair here, and then we're gonna slab the rest. So let's go with a slab on top here, a double slab, another double, and another double ending off right there. Now we're gonna fill in this section with oak. So go down all the way, connecting this side to the next. Now that the oak slabs are in place, I wanna give a little bit more detail. Let's actually knock this one out. I'm gonna put a log here. Let's put another, let's go one, two right there, and another one, two right here. On top of these, I'm just gonna go with a stair of our spruce, just like that to give a little more, more detail. Then next up, let's actually repeat this on the other side. All right, there you go. This side mirrored to the other and it's looking awesome. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give a mixture of our brick again and our cobble. We're gonna put it right down on this level. We're gonna repeat it also on this side right here, going down. And then we're gonna go ahead and put some more spruce stairs. We're gonna put an upside down stair here, giving a one block gap space there, another stair here. We're gonna surround these in our trap doors going like so. Now let's go ahead and put this on every single gap right here. There we go, once we have that done, we're gonna go ahead and put some cross beams right on top on this level. All right, there you go, all mirrored. Now, the next thing we're gonna go ahead and repeat what we did on the other side, we're gonna do it here. So let's drop a pop out log right on this level, right next to that full block, another upside down stair here, full block, upside down, and do the same thing we did last time. So full blocks here, one on the top, double stab on this side, and a double on this end. Now for this section, we're just gonna mirror what we did on the other side. So let's go ahead and lift our planks up all the way to the top, this side as well, all the way to the top. Give a little bit of a mix here of our stripped spruce right there. And then we're gonna go ahead and put three trap doors on this side, three trap doors over here on this side. Upside down stair, upside down stair. Cross that, maybe give a little bit of texturing going down like so, that looks great. Then I'm gonna put our little pop out right at this edge, one on this edge. Let's take one more block up. We're gonna put a full block on each side, one on the top, double slab here, and a double slab right there. Upside down stairs on each side. So this is the side is looking pretty cool. All right, now that we have this in place, let's work on the main roof here. So really simple, we're just gonna go right from this side, so right on this edge where this pop-out log is. I'm gonna go with that stair, and we're gonna take it down all the way, and then we're gonna turn it and come back this direction, like so. Let's repeat this over here. We're gonna come down with our stairs going down to there, and then also coming back this way. Repeating this end, pretty much matching what we did on the other side, we're gonna take our stairs and go all the way around, make an L shape and end up on this end. Now next up, let's go with full blocks, let's go with a full block on top and a stair. We're gonna go with an upside down stair here, full block and a stair, upside down stair here, and then on this side, we're just gonna go with slab. So a slab on top, double slab, and then we're gonna come back down with a slab there. Let's repeat this, so we're gonna put a stair here, stair on this side, full block, upside down stair, stair here, full block, and then we have that side matching. Now, this same roof style, we're gonna repeat it on this side and the other side, so let's do it quick. All right, now, all of this is mirrored looking awesome. The next thing we're gonna do is let's fill in the gaps in the inside part. There's also gonna be a tower popping up in the center, but for right now, uh, let's fill it all in, and I'm gonna show you where to put the windows and everything. So for right now, let's close it all off. So let's go with oak. We're gonna go with oak all the way down. This is pretty much gonna be mirrored, so it's gonna go from one side to the next. Then we're gonna go with our oak stairs, and let's take this all the way down like so. 
Then here we're going to go again with four blocks. Let's take this all the way down and it's going to L shape, go back this direction. Then we're going to go again with our stairs. It's going to pretty much turn all the way around. And then we're going to go again with some oak slabs and it's going to go again all the way around matching this side. So it's all on the same level. And then here we're going to go with our spruce slabs and take this all the way down and we're going to cross back this direction just like so. And there you go. All this is covered up. Now you can leave it like this closed off or you can add windows. Let me show you how it would look like with everything just sealed off. So I'm going to go ahead and repeat what we did over there on this side. All right. And there you go. We have this side mirrored to the other. So if you want to keep it clean like this without any windows, you're good. But let me show you where to put windows if you want to add them. So let's go right here on this section. We're going to count from this, uh, these blocks here. This is already one, two, three, right here in the third one. Let's knock this down. Let's knock the fourth one and the fifth one down. We're going to bring our log up and let's go up one and two, one and two right there. I'm going to put a uh, regular spruce stair here, put a spruce stair on top, one on top over here. I'm going to go with an upside down stair here and a stair facing this way. Also going to knock these two down just so we can do a continuous line like this of our spruce. And then we have one window there. Now, once we have that window in place, we're just going to repeat it two more times and we're going to use these little gaps here as our guideline. So pretty much if you see the center bit, it's going to be centered to this one. I'm going to put one center to this one and center to this one. So let's repeat this again. Give it a one block gap space, knock these three down, take this two up, two up, put our stairs forward, another one forward, one facing down, upside down, one on the top. And then we're just going to repeat these linings right there. Let's do it one more time. So one block gap space Let's go knock this one, this one and this one down this here. We could just twist it so you don't see that gap and you just go up by two again. Stair, stair, stair down, upside down, one facing this way. Get rid of these two and we have that look. So all we got to do is then repeat this on the other side. All right, there it is. This side mirrored to the other and it's looking really, really awesome. Now, next thing we want to do is let's go ahead and cover this part up. This is really simple. I'm just going to come back in here and just go ahead and cover all this up in spruce. We can even give it a little bit of a uh, well, strip spruce lining in here as well. So just cover all that up and then come back in here and give it a little bit of our stripped and it could be in different directions. It could be something like that. It looks pretty good. So let's go ahead and repeat this over here on this side and on the other side. All right, now it's time to work on this side. So let me show you all clean without any windows and then we'll add the windows and also the tower bit right here on the center. So let's take this all the way down with our four blocks of oak here. We're going to go with our oak stairs going all the way down. Then we're going to go again with our full block. Take this all the way from one side to the next. We're going to put our stairs now this side and then last we're going to go ahead and bring down our oak slab all the way down just like so. So this is all clean completely done if you want. But now let me show you how to do this by adding the window. So I'm going to go with this center gap right here just to work this out. I'm going to get rid of these three right here, similar to what we did on the other side. I'm going to take this up by two, up by two, put our stairs forward, put a stair down, upside down, one on the top and replace these just like we did on the other side. So let's do this again. We're going to go ahead and come right here, knock these three out, take this up by two, up by two, stairs forward, upside down, one down below, stair forward. Let's go with our stair and replace those right there. Now it looks like a little bit of a face. I love it. It's screaming. All right. Now let's set up the tower. So this is what we're going to do. This is going to be our center point right there for where the tower is. So let's use it as a guideline. So I'm going to go right here on this corner edge. Let's go ahead and put a log right here. Give it a space of three. So let's actually just bring for now just cobble. Let's go with a one, two, wait, one, two and three right here drop our log right on this section. We can take this all the way down. We'll put a little placeholder block here and go up right now for one, two, three. Let's just take it right to there for now. I'm going to knock down this part right here. So one, two, three. Let's put just cobble for now. So run this line one, two, three and take this little bit out right there. Bring our log back in. So right down here, put a little placeholder block one, two, three. Take that there. Let's get rid of this little section. Bring our cobble back one, two and three. Knock this little corner. So same as that one. Knock that bit out. Let's put our log in there and then let's take this little bit out and let's cover this up. So for now, let's just get rid of this whole little middle section and we have our start of the tower right here. 
All right, now we're gonna lift this log a little bit more. Let's go up two more. Let's go up one and two more. So two more on each side. If you notice from this corner bit, if you're counting, this is one, two, three, four, five total. Then what we're gonna do is let's uh, lift this up one more with our cobble. We can come in here and give it a little bit of texturing as well. But then I'm gonna go ahead and do a cross beam right on this side. Let's cross beam here, cross beam on this level. So the fifth. And then we can come back in here, do a little bit of texturing as well. Just come in in certain spots, just like so. Maybe mix and match some of these up, just like this. Let's go ahead and do it on this side as well. So put one like that. There we go. And then we can go ahead and do some more, just like this. Now, for right here, I want to give a little window. So let's knock those two out, and we can put a tiny window on this side. This is actually the only place you can put a window. You won't have access or space to put it anywhere else. So we'll just put one right here. If you want, we can also give it some, maybe some stairs right here, a little stair on this side. And we can even do a little upside down stair over here just to shape it up a little bit better. All right, now for the tower bit. So let's do this. We're going to put some upside down spruce stairs, every other one going all the way around, just like so. In the middle gaps, we're going to come back in here and put some slabs of our spruce going all the way around, just like so. Then next up, we're going to detail this. Let's go ahead and put some trap doors on these little corner bits. I'm going to put them on every corner spruce stair that we have like this. Then next up, we're going to grab some stairs. I'm going to put some stairs facing inwards right here on uh, the sides of those trap doors. This goes all the way around. Then next up in the center, I'm gonna grab our oak log. I'm gonna put an oak log right in the center bit, going all the way around, just like so. Then next up, let's go ahead and put some uh, just slabs here in the corner bits. I'm gonna put slabs here on every corner, just like so. Then in the middle, we're just gonna fill this in with full blocks. Let's fill all that in. Then next up, I'm gonna put a stair on top of every one of these logs that we placed, going around like so. And then next up, we're gonna grab our log again and let's go up here one and two, right behind these stairs, just like that. Then in the gaps in between, I'm gonna go ahead, let's put a, uh, just a slab right here, placeholders on those little corners. And then we're gonna come up with full blocks. We're just gonna go up one, two, and three on every one of these gaps right here. Then I'm gonna put a stair on top of these logs we have right here. Then we're gonna go on the inside and put upside down stairs on the stairs we just placed. So we have this for now. Then I'm gonna grab these logs again. And we're gonna put these logs right on the tops right there following this line. And we're just gonna go ahead and put one. Then on top of those logs, we're gonna go ahead and put stairs facing forward like so. Let's put a full block right on the inside. I'm gonna go right now with log again. And we're gonna take it up by one and two. I'm gonna put some trap doors right on the bottom log. Leave this one clean. We could do put some buttons just to add a little bit more detail. Some spruce buttons is fine. We can surround this right on top. Then we're gonna put a wall. We're gonna put a fence. And on top of this, we're gonna put an iron bar, just like so. Now for added detail, we're gonna grab some of our fences and we're gonna go ahead with just spruce fences, go up one and two. Let's go up one and two on all of these, going all the way around like so and then we're going to put one on the top bit just like this so there's our finished tower looking really really awesome now the structure is almost complete little things that we want to add is slabs every other one so right on the inside not on the front one but on the inside part let's put slabs going down this adds just a little bit more detail so that going all the way down then over here as well let's put it right on the second one and every other one going all the way down ending off just like so then also another little thing I want to add is right here. Let's just get rid of that stair and let's make this one into a spruce one. So we got that lining going up the middle, just like that. And then over here, it's going to add a little shutter window. Uh, and for windows, I'm just going to go with spruce fences, just like this. And we're just going to put those as our window replacements. We could put glass if you want to. You could pretty much put anything. You can even put trap doors there. I'm just going to go with fences going all the way around. Also, a tiny detail, all of these exposed log pieces here, we're just going to go ahead and drop these buttons just to add that extra detail. You know I love to do it. It makes it look a lot better. Now, the last bit of outside detail, I want to go ahead and put some upside down stairs like so, right next to all those logs. And then I want to put a little bit of trapdoor lining going all the way down like this and swing it around this way. Also, going to repeat this on the other side. All right, now let's go on the interior here. Let me set this up for you guys. So the next thing we're going to do is do a cross beam right at this level, right here with this log ended. We're just going to cross beam this direction, one over here, and then one back on this end. 
Then we're gonna put some slabs. Let's put slabs right next to this log. We're gonna put a slab right here on this section. And then in the middle, we're just gonna put trap doors like that. And it's gonna repeat this going all the way down. So slabs on each side, trap doors in the middle. Let's do one more here. So slabs on this side, slabs over here, and then trap doors down the middle. Then let's drop logs right in the middle. One down here, here, and on this side. Then we're gonna grab a barrel. Let's drop a barrel right underneath this one. We're gonna drop a, um, a, a brick wall right here. It could be any wall. And then underneath here, we're gonna drop a uh, just a lantern. There, so it should look like that. Then next up, let's go ahead and do uh, some beams here. So I'm gonna put a beam right on this section. We're gonna take it all the way down. It's gonna go from this side all the way to the other end. And then we're gonna do one more going this direction and it's gonna go all the way to the other end. So this will be our flooring. And then we can just come back in here and give it uh, just some detail. So I'm gonna go all the way down. So with slabs here, except for this block right here, we're gonna put a trap door on this side. We're gonna keep going all the way down and we're gonna put a trap door right here. Now, once we have those trap doors in place, everything else up here is gonna be a slab. So let's set this up real quick. All right, now coming back down here, we're just gonna set up ladders. So this will be our way up. We're gonna put a ladder right on this beam going all the way to that trap door. And also gonna set one up over here. So it's gonna be mirrored from one side to the next. Now, the next thing we're gonna do is let's do a little lofty area here on this side. Really super simple. We're gonna grab our slabs and we're gonna take it down right on this section. And we're gonna take slabs right here. So one, two, three. One, two, and three. Then we're gonna grab trap doors and take it down right here. So one, two, and three, three here, and three more on this side. Then we're gonna put a double right here, double traps going all the way down. Lift those up, take these out, and we have a little lofty area here. And we just have to repeat it on this side. And there you go, this side mirrored to the other, and this is looking pretty cool. Now, one tiny bit of detail I wanna add is right underneath this window, just to give it a little bit of detail. Let's go with some upside down stairs and a slab in the center. And then over here, I wanna hang some lights. So let's put a fence post here, fence post on this side, and drop some lights down, just like that, just to add a little bit. Let's repeat it also on this side. So two upside down stairs and a slab in the middle, just like so. Little thing I wanna do is also underneath this section, just to give it a little bit more. Uh, let's grab our slabs of our oak, and I'm gonna put one right here, one on this side, and then one going down. So it gives you this little uh, continuous uh, line right there, and it covers up that little bit of log that just kinda looks like it's in the way. And let's repeat it over here. Let's do it on every one of these gaps. All right, there you go. All of them have that lovely detail. Now, one thing also I wanna do is put a light here in the back just to give the horses a little bit of illumination, eh? and it prevents mobs from spawning and giving them a, a, a hard time. <laughs> Let's put that all the way around. Now, to set this part up really super simple, I'm gonna take this log going all the way down. This one's gonna go all the way down as well. This log all the way down here, and we're gonna take this one all the way down here as well. Then for this, I'm just gonna take this uh, wall, this brick wall uh, with our stone brick and cobble all the way down to the bottom. And then here, we're gonna make this super simple. I'm just gonna grab some of our spruce. We're gonna put some upside down stairs on every one of these parts here. And then we're gonna just put trap doors in these little gaps all the way around. And there we go. We got our archway set up on every direction and it's looking awesome. Now you can set this up to have really anything you want on this section, but really quick, let me go back to my single player world. And I'll show you how I had this interior set up. And here we go with some interior inspiration from my single player world. So if you look over here on this side, we have like little stations over here. I have uh, just some grindstones, some stone cutters. This side is uh, part you see, maybe somebody's making um, the, the leather. Uh, just constructing and changing the leather into maybe horse armor or uh, into saddles, leads, stuff like that. This makes it look really, really cool. Also on this side, some composters with some bushes, cauldron over here. You can wet the leather, do do whatever you want to do with the leather. I don't know, I don't know how this works, but it works. Trust me. Some carpet on the ground here uh, and on the top. Here's a little bit of ceiling inspiration. Just some trap doors, some slabs with a log in the middle, wall with a lantern. That looks pretty cool. Uh, on this side, we have a little bit of a storage area. So we have a mix of bookshelves, some barrels some beehives here, bee nest, beehives, these are beehives, looking pretty cool. Uh, as you come over here on this side, more stone cutters, uh, here you got a little ax, uh, and then here's with the spot you have to make even more stuff, uh, leather items, horse armor and leads and stuff like that, so it's almost like a, a workstation. So if you notice over here, this side is maybe how they um, prepare the leather, over here they store all the stuff, and then on this side they kind of like mold it and cut it up and making all these items out of that. Uh, over here we have a section for our sleeping, so we have 
double beds, uh, a double and another double on this side. Uh, and then you made it pretty cool, right? Little office uh, area on this side. And it's looking pretty cool. What do you guys think? Wandering Trader, how you doing? Oh man, the Wandering Trader loves this spot. He wants a little spot here for one of his llamas. I told him later on, whenever I have any of these horses going, uh, we can definitely put a llama in here. That's fine. But little things you can do as well on the inside is also adding item frames with uh, leads or saddles. But even putting saddles on the horses, uh, putting uh, uh, horse armor in different colors <laughs> also adds a lot of detail. Uh, and just wrap around here and just add a bunch of details you could. Stuff like this, like watering troughs, uh, hay bales. But not only that, whenever you're done with your building, don't, don't just uh, plop it down and you're done. Dress up the area, add some path work, add some bushes, some tall grass, some ferns, details on the outside, make the building pop even more. So stuff like this, you could definitely add just to give a little bit more atmosphere to your builds. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. Let me know what you think of this amazing, awesome, epic horse stable. Uh, I love it so much. This is actually my favorite horse stable of all time. Hopefully you guys did enjoy and you add it to your worlds. If you do, send me pictures on Twitter, Instagram, Discord, anywhere you want. Uh, and I would love to see it uh, in your worlds. But I'm out of here for now. Thank you all so much for watching. I'll catch you guys on the next Minecraft video. Goodbye.